record because I had somebody to ask me to record it and we'll be able to share that too. Um, but I guess Jade, we'll just watch the Facebook group too to see if anybody like comments on our live. I've never done this before. I feel like a green little like newbie, but um, anyways, all right, we are excited to be here. And McKenna is supposed to hop on later. She's another coach leading this group. Um, the other two gals were either sick or traveling, so they couldn't do it with us, but that's totally okay. Um, but Jade and I have been friends. Well, actually, I guess we became friends through coaching. Yeah, we started following each other on Facebook and we became friends and eventually she ended up um, wanting to be a coach and she's amazing, amazing. I'm so honored to do this with her tonight. So, um, but we just want to talk to you guys. So we've been sharing in this workshop, um, giving you guys some daily things to do, some daily posts to make and um, just kind of some daily activities. And this call is going to go a whole lot deeper. We really wanted to um, help you with uh, just understanding like what we do as coaches and and really give you like that that glimpse into what it would be like to be a coach. But we want to talk to you about what we do day in, day out, like what our mission is, what sets us apart, who we're looking for, honestly, to join our team as well. And just give you uh, give you an opportunity. She's like super like me. Uh, give you an opportunity to ask us questions. So while we're talking, you can actually like if you're on the Zoom with us, you can type in the chat thing at the bottom. Uh, but if you're in the Facebook group, just comment below this video and I'll make sure to check that as well. But who am I? Um, so I've, I'll explain a little bit because I did this already in the group. But um, if you don't know me, if, you, if I didn't invite you here, I'm Rachel Mitchell. Um, I have been a coach since August of 2014. And I am a mom. I'm a wife to Matt of 15 years. I've got Henry and Milo. They are amazing and wonderful little boys. And um, I was a full-time college history instructor. And I love that job. I still actually teach one one uh, traditional class a week. I've got my Itawamba shirt on right here. Uh, but I became a coach because one, I wanted the accountability in my health and fitness. Like I started with the 21 day fix in May of 2014, joined my coaches challenge group. I did not drink Shakeology. Honestly, I said I never would. Um, so I don't drink shakes. And I was like, I'm not paying that much for a bag of powder. But I ended up doing it. Uh, I signed up as a coach with a Pio challenge pack. And so I just jumped in and I wanted to try Shakeology and save some money. I didn't think I would drink it very long. I thought I might sign up a couple of people, pay for the shakes and then be done. Uh, but I joined her coach training and I started to post. I started to share my story and I really started to just honestly fall in love a little bit at a time with the work that I was doing. Um, it was not natural for me. I didn't have a Facebook following, an Instagram following. Um, I was not very confident, especially wasn't bold in my faith. But as you can see, God has refined me and grown me as a person over the past five years. And Jade and I were just talking about some other things in regards to coaching and what it's done for our family. And I just could not be more grateful for this opportunity. Um, and that's why we share it. That's why we invite people to come and learn because it has changed us. And Jade will tell you a little bit more about her story as well. But um, for, for me personally, some things that coaching has done besides obviously like provide an income for me, that's a huge one. That's great. And it's blessed our family, but it has definitely like helped me stay, stay focused on my health and fitness. Has it been perfect? Absolutely not. Like I've had to share lately that like I got way off track in the last couple of months. We've had a lot of family things in the last year and I've let stress kind of get to me and food became my crutch late night eating in front of the TV, but I know what to do. Like I appreciate the workout programs. I appreciate the nutrition plan. I love Shakeology. It has, if you were not my challenge group today, we talked about Shakeology and what it's done for us. Um, but I could just go on and on about the physical part of, um, coaching, but I won't because like you guys can see that and you experience that for yourself. What about the rest of it? Uh, for me, coaching has built my confidence. Coaching has given me a platform to, to be an advocate for faith 
a faith-based approach to health and fitness, but it's also allowed me to share my passions for, you know, encouraging healthy marriages, stewardship of what we've been given. You know, honestly, um, coaching is probably going to allow us to homeschool our kids next year. That's our goal. Um, it's, yeah, I know. It has let me, like, I don't no longer have to leave every single day to go to a job and leave my family. Like, I used to have to drive an hour each way, and Matt was taking the boys to school. Somebody else was picking them up. Somebody else was getting them if they were sick or going to their school parties. If not, I had to take off a whole day of work. And while I was blessed with a great job, like, I just knew I was missing out, and I knew God was calling me to be more present at home. And so I dug in, I honed in. I focused on coaching and I really worked in the hours that I had while I did work full time to create an income that would allow us to be home. And God bless that. And so I'm really thankful for that. Um, not to mention that we have this awesome tribe of women who, who love Jesus, who want to work hard, want to work with integrity, want to serve other people. You guys, like if there's anything that sets Team Take Heart and, and Jade's team and all these other teams in our downline apart, it's that we honestly and truly, like we are a bold group of women who are not afraid to, to point people to Christ. And also we're quick to say it's not just about the fitness results. It's not just about being on a diet. We don't diet. Um, it's not just about, you know, just, just the, the physical, the, the worldly things. Like God has given us this platform to serve people and proclaim his name and give him credit when we do succeed at big things, right? So I love that about coaching. I love that about our team. And if you're on this call, or if you're watching it back, it's because we invited you here because we saw something in you that we felt like would make a really great coach. We felt like you would excel at this. And so we're excited to tell you a little bit more. But what is coaching? I'm going to go over uh, quickly what coaching is, um, kind of just synopsis of it. And then Jade is going to tell you who we're looking for. She's going to cover some common misconceptions. We're going to talk about how we earn money and how to get started as a coach in our March New Coach Mentorship. Okay, so definitely ask questions, jot down notes if you have them. But coaching is definitely, it starts with you. It's not about having the perfect body. Your body is your business. And that term, that, that phrase used to turn me off in a lot of ways because I didn't ever want to become consumed with my weight or my measurements or what I looked like, right? And that's a job hazard for sure. But honestly, that's a hazard just being a woman just being a woman and comparing yourself to other people. And so like I, if anything, coaching has helped me form a much healthier view of my body to realize that it's not perfect. It may not look perfect on the outside, but I want to be a good steward of what I'm putting into it, how I'm treating it and, and moving it and just taking full advantage of the health that God has given me. Um, so your job essentially is to take care of yourself. Um, there are coaches of all shapes and sizes, honestly, six very successful coaches of all shapes and sizes. So there's nothing that says you have to look a certain way, have to be a certain size, have blonde hair, blue eyes, black hair, brown hair. There's nothing that says that anywhere. You just have to be committed to taking care of the body that God gave you, being a good steward of it. And so when you become a coach, if you are not already part of our boot camps, our challenge groups, we will pair you up with a workout program and a meal plan um, that will work for you. And you'll just start to work out and exercise. Honestly, that's the first thing that we will have you do is become a part of a challenge group, start a workout program, start following a meal plan, start in incorporating our superfood shake, Shakeology. And we want you to feel the best that you have ever felt about being a steward of your body. All right. So that's job requirement number one. Um, secondly, we're going to pair you up with some personal development, which is, you know, obviously we love, I encourage my challengers to get into God's word first, but I also encourage my challengers and especially my coaches to be reading personal development. It's just kind of like exercise for your brain. I was just sharing with Jade. I don't have the book in front of me now. But Henry and I were reading Seven Habits for Highly Effective Teens. It's a book for kids. And um, he sees me reading personal development all the time, 10 minutes, 
here and there throughout the day. And he like wanted to start reading it too. So we got this book and it just really like thrilled my mama's soul. But that is something that is, is part of our every day. And seriously, like I might listen to five minutes riding down the road or it might be 10 minutes before I get up and push play. But personal development just keeps us focused and on track and growing our mind and growing our businesses. So when you start working out and taking care of yourself, you're going to feel amazing, obviously. Um, and you are going to start to share that on social media. Social media is a free platform that we have. It's like a billboard you don't have to pay for, right? Um, that you start to share your, your journey on social media and inspire other people. We're going to teach you all about social media, all about how to share and not be a salesperson. There's lots of marketing out there that's really icky and salesy. We don't want you to do that. You probably haven't seen us do that. Um, so we're going to teach you how to use social media as a marketing tool to tell people what you're doing, but more than and tell people like about the products, tell people why you're doing what you're doing. You know, for me, I, were, I can remember shoving my coffee table out of the way early in the morning. Milo and Henry were small. Milo would wake up at like four o'clock every morning and I would have to either snuggle him or push play out, pause on my workout and then go back to it. It was really messy. But you know what? The fact that I didn't have to leave my home to go to a gym or pay someone to watch my kids in a nasty gym while I worked out after work, you know, that was golden to me. And so that's how my story started. Now, I don't like to go to a gym anymore. I do think they're dirty. I don't know what to do at a gym. Now I just push play and somebody tells me what to do and I get to work out in my home, you know, to whatever music I like and it's just fabulous. So Pete, you're going to start to share your journey on social media and talk about not just about your workouts and your nutrition or Shakeology, but start to talk about what's important to you. We're really going to teach you how to build a brand, how to speak to your target market and how to grow a following that is following you because they connect with who you are as a person, all right? And so it's gonna, your business is gonna be rooted in health and fitness, but you're gonna have this bigger kind of mission field uh, where you share other things. And so you'll start to document your journey on social media share stories, share posts, um, share your workouts, recipes, show what you're doing. And you will want to share, honestly, because you're going to feel so good. Like you're going to want to tell other people about it. Um, and you will start to encourage and uplift people. I can remember my first, um, my first, you know, messages from women who are like, oh my gosh, Rachel, like you're inspiring me. And I had no idea what they wanted or if they even wanted to join a challenge group, but I knew I was encouraging them. And that was an awesome feeling. And honestly, it still is today that never goes away. Um, and so you'll start to encourage people with your devotions, your personal development, and you'll just start conversations with people who are watching you and following you. And, and those are going to be the people who become your first challengers, honestly, um, aside from your family and friends and people that you already know but you're going to start to build those relationships on social media. And again, we will teach you how to do that through our new coach training. Okay. And so you will start to coach those people who join your challenge groups. A challenge group is just a virtual, like it's our online community where we, we put everybody into a group. We share daily. People log their workouts, log their shakes, do check-ins. Um, and it's an accountability piece. And so we run those challenge groups all throughout the year. And we're constantly adding people who join with our workouts and Shakeology or performance line or whatever it is to be a part of that. You're going to start to coach them. You do not have to be a fitness expert. You just have to be somebody who loves people and we will give you the tools to run the challenge group, show you how to run, set up your first challenge group, even give you content for your challenge groups, but you don't have to run your first one, like your first month or second month. You can invite people, they can sign up with you and they can be a part of our challenge groups until like month three when you're ready to run your own, if not before four. Okay. So you're essentially going to be an account part, accountability partner for these people. They're cheerleader. Um, and you're going to enroll them in your, your challenge group. And, you know, it's really cool because, like, again, going back to the gym, I'm not anti-gym. I don't mean that. But I know I went to a gym for years and nobody ever checked on me. Nobody ever asked me where I was on the days I didn't show up. Nobody offered a meal plan to me. Nobody offered to, to give me a workout schedule or plan or something like that, right? So we get to do that for people. People. And so we post in there every day and it's really special. Honestly, it's really special to me. In the beginning, I was a little intimidated by being a leader, 
but I just did it. I just did it because my coach told me to do it and I got better and I found my voice. And that's where I really started to incorporate faith into fitness and my challenge groups because my coach was not doing that and I knew I needed that. So that was something I could offer to other people. All right. So you're going to work on you, you're going to inspire others, and you're going to help other people reach their goals. Um, I don't know if you know much about Team Beachbody. I didn't before I became a coach, but, you know, really quickly, it's just a, a marketing company who created some at-home workout programs to help people who didn't go to a gym or didn't want to go to a gym. Some of the big names are like P90X, 21 Day Fix, Insanity, um, Pio, you know, 20, uh, the, I said 21 Day Fix. Now we've got like MM100. They're really good, solid programs that have helped a lot of people. They created the coaching opportunity about 10 years ago because people were actually doing the programs and getting amazing results, but they had these community threads where people were saying, you know, I rock it they would share their results after they finished and then people would go back to how they were living before after they finished a program and they were losing all the results and so Beachbody was like what if we had this like peer-to-peer -peer system where people got had a coach and they had this online community and they could hold each other accountable and so that's where the the, the coaching opportunity came from and of course, you know, it's now we have Beachbody On Demand, which is like a Netflix for workouts and you have access to everything. So people just literally graduate through the programs. You see us do it and we help our challengers do that. And they also have meal plans and the, port, the nutrition plans now. And so that was one of the things I knew I loved about Beachbody and I, was, I could get behind it for coaching was it wasn't a diet. It wasn't a quick fix. There were no patches. There were no pills. There was nothing like that. It was literally, I always call it God's way of getting fit. You just have to work out. You have to move your body and eat the food that he created and take care of yourself, right? Okay, and so that's why I could get behind that. That's sustainable. And so that is what the company is about. Shakeology, obviously we're big believers in that. It's a superfood shake. It has honestly transformed my health. At first, I noticed that it helped with my sugar cravings, gave me energy throughout the day. Um, within a few months, I noticed that my hormones, my premenstrual dysphoric disorder was a lot better. Um, and then within a year, my cholesterol was lower. My cardiologist drank Shakeology because he was so impressed with my numbers. Um, and so like it's done a lot to help my health. And it's honestly just an easy mama meal. Like I don't have to think about it. And so that is one of the things I love it. I love it. I love it. I believe in it 100%. And so when you put all that together, the workouts, the meal plans, nutrition, it's really and truly just a system that works for anybody that comes in and does it. So you are going to work on yourself. You're going to follow the workouts, the meal plans, you're going to share on social media, and you are going to just share with other people about what you're doing. And I always say that brings integrity to this business. You know, we are not asking people to do something we are not doing. And Jade's going to laugh at me, but I always say too, like, we're not just selling candles. Like, there's nothing wrong with candles. I love candles. I have them throughout my house, but we're selling health and fitness. We're selling like futures for people who, who might not otherwise make those good decisions. And we're doing it with integrity because we are proof that this works and we're doing it every single day. All right. So Jade is going to talk about who we're looking for and some common misconceptions. And I am going to mute myself and go look at the chat in the Facebook group. Okay. Am I, yeah, I'm unmuted. Okay. Um, okay. Hi. Yeah. Hey, I'm Jade, and I, I've introduced myself in the Facebook group already, but I'll do a quick um, recap. So I live in Madison, Mississippi, where I am a 7th and 8th grade science teacher. Um, I have a son named Owen. He is 18 months old, and my husband is Garrett. And um, honestly, see, I've been teaching for about, teaching, I've been coaching for about um, three years. And, you know, I watched Rachel for a year on Facebook, do this coaching thing, talk about her workouts. And, um, I was just like interested in what, in what she was doing. I totally adored the fact that she was bringing Christ into it. And I think that's what really, you know, captured my attention to begin with. Um, so I really started, you know, watching herself, following her story and her journey. 
Um, but the funny thing is she, you know, sent me a message, invited me to join one of her challenge groups and I just straight up ignored her. <laughs> um, didn't even respond. I read it and I just like, you know, did with those, those kind of, not really eye rolls, but it was pretty much an eye roll. <laughs> um, because I knew that oh, she just wanted me to do this and, um, and I'd get it. Like I had no, it wasn't like disrespectful. I just it was like, I don't have the energy to entertain this conversation at the moment. So I get it. Um, I get when people ghost me, I don't take it personal cause I was the ghoster at one point. Um, but the funny thing is, you know, Rachel stayed really consistent with all of it and, um, watching her and God dealing with, dealing with me in my own personal life. Um, I felt like I just felt a natural draw, a pull to, to really check this out, to give it some more thought and to give it, uh, to give some prayer to join. Um, and so literally it was like a year to the date I messaged her back and I was like, Hey, I'm really interested in what you do as a coach. I would like to talk to you. And, um, so she, she called me, I, I was sitting in a gym parking lot <laughs> and we had a conversation about coaching and, um, and the reasons why that I decided to do it is typically not what most coaches, you know, they don't, they don't become a coach for the same reason I did. Like I was already into fitness. I loved going to the gym. Uh, um, I was all about like smoothies and superfood shakes. I would make my own. I was just, I loved it. That was just something I really was already drawn to. And so I did not need to lose weight or get in shape when I became a coach. Um, but what I did want was I, I wanted to go ahead and get my workouts done in the morning. Uh, I like, um, being in the comfort of my own home. Um, I just, I feel like that's where it's my quiet time. Um, but also I was really intrigued with the business because I watched my husband who is, um, who at the time was, um, an insurance agent and he has to work really hard for his, um, for his income. Like that's his income. What he, what he works for is what he gets and what he doesn't get, you know, that's, that's not money that we're not getting. Right. So watching him, um, work so hard for our family was really inspiring to me. And, um, I was just really felt like, okay, well, here I'm a teacher. Um, we all know teachers don't make, <laughs> make a lot of money. So especially in Mississippi, I think we're the lowest paid. Um, so I was like, okay, there's more to life. Don't get me wrong. I love my, my seventh and eighth graders. I love my middle schoolers. If you follow my stories, you see how much, um, I love teaching them, but also, um, I now have family and I, this family was going to come. Um, and I want to be present, my present mother. So, um, when I, when Garrett was working hard and hitting all these business goals that he set for himself, he was taking me on trips. We've been to Hawaii, Alaska, Canada, places that we would never be able to go um, as newlyweds. I mean, we've been married five years and we've already been to like these really awesome places because of his hard work. And, you know, every time I ask him, you know, like, what's his motivation? And he's like, I just want to see you happy. And, and so I think that was just very thoughtful. And that was, um, a moment for me to say like, what can I do? What can I do for, for Garrett? What can I do for our peer family? And also seeing Rachel be so active and talk about how much it, the income has been helping her, um, was really like, okay, I'm just going to do this. But I had, um, I had some total fears with it. I the number one fear I had was what are people going to think of me? And that is really what froze me for so long um, was because I was like, people are going to think, Oh, she's so full of herself. She's so conceited. Who does she think she is taking a selfie and posting it? Um, she's just doing it for attention. Like those are thoughts that ran through my mind. And you know what? People probably think that. And that is okay. I had to finally get to that point where I'm okay with people thinking that, um, that I'm just full of it, you know, because at the end of the day, it's where my heart is when I'm in the post that I'm making and in the purpose of why I'm doing 
forgiveness. And that is a, that is a heart issue with their, with them. And I had to get to that point and I'm okay with it. There's, there's people that don't like what I do. I have family members that don't like what I do. And, and at the end of the day, I'm not losing sleep over it because I know that I have goals and I have a passion for this and that God is blessing others through this. And that is the focus that I've had to keep. And while I do have negative naysayers, there's so much light and positive in this that it really um, overpowers any of the negative that comes from it. Um, so who are we looking for? We are definitely looking for people who have the same passions that I was just talked about that Rachel has just talked about. You know, you see that, um, there's a greater purpose that you want to have, um, maybe an impact you want to have, or maybe you want to bring in more income to your family. Um, so we're looking for people who definitely are go, go getters and they have goals that they want to reach. And, um, one thing though, um, we cannot do this for you. This does take effort. This does take work. And, um, so for me, uh, I'm a full-time, a full-time teacher. I'm a full-time mom, wife, you know, we, I have a ton of responsibilities. So how do I make this work? Um, um well, I quit mindlessly scrolling through social media. If I am, I'm doing it with a purpose um, for my, to move my business forward. And then I also don't watch TV and my middle schoolers think I'm so weird for that. They're like, do you watch this? Do you watch that? And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't watch TV. If the TV's on, it's on Disney plus and we're watching Moana. I can sing you a, a song from Moana if that's what you want. But, um, as far as like keeping up to date on the bachelor bachelor, like I really have no idea. Um, so those are sacrifices that I've decided to make so that I have the extra time to work my business and so that I can reach the goal. My goal is to eventually stay home with, um, with my, with my son and future babies that we have, um, in the future. And so I'm definitely working towards that, but, um, I know that it takes working hard right now and setting that discipline, um, right now so that um, I can enjoy that reward later. And that is who we're looking for. You've got to be disciplined even when you're tired. Do I make this work every day perfectly? No. There are some days where Owen was probably up three or four times the night before. I worked all day and as soon as I put him down at like 7 40 p.m. I went to bed myself. Um, so there, you have to understand that there there's grace there too. Um, and that this isn't going to look perfect. You can't let your bad days outweigh your good days. If you stay consistent and you're just real and you're, um, you share this in your, in your journey and with your, and on your social, social media posts, you know, that's where people relate. Nobody wants to see a perfect, um, a perfect mom, a perfect, um, whatever your situation may be, because nobody relates to that anyways. They just want to see that um, you are trying even when it's a hot mess express around you um, because that's what inspires people. So um, we're looking for people who are going to show up even though it's hard, but also not give up because it's hard um, because that's where people find the inspiration. And it's hard because we think that we have to be perfect through this. Um, and I see so many come in and get, um, Sorry, I just exit out of that. Um, and they get they get down on themselves because they're not doing it perfect in their eyes, and um, or they're not getting the response that they want, and they quit when literally they were almost to the you know the other side of the the mountain. Um, so I just want to say that to encourage you that, and not to set you up for failure, but to be real with you that you are going to have setbacks. You're going to climb and you're going to fall. You're going to climb up and you're going to fall. Um, but with every, you're going to take more steps forward than you are backwards. And you just got to keep that focus. Um, so that's, we're looking for people who, who have that positive mindset of, um, you know, that this is just real life. Um, you have to believe that you were put on this earth to do something special and to call and call to something more and when you lay down at night that's what you just have to remember even if it was a bad day hey i did 
I'm here, I'm helping, and I'm doing something that matters. Um, and you are gonna be shocked and blown away at all the positive response that you do get. I wake up every day with a message of um, somebody saying how much I inspire them, how much I encourage them, and they, they love to, to watch my stories because they, um, I, they make me, or like I help them feel like they can you know accomplish goals no matter what it is. So it makes you feel good too because you're inspiring others. Um, so, so we're looking for people who want to earn an income while also making an impact, whether that's $500 a month or $6,000 a month, anything is possible. Um, we are glad, we will be glad to help you through that um, and to build this business. So I've kind of talked about some common misconceptions in the mix of like who we're looking for. Um, and Rachel talked a little bit about this, but we're not looking for a health expert. Um, I'm definitely not a health and fitness expert. Um, I do feel like I have a lot of knowledge, but I don't have, you know, the title to say it. Um, but you know, you learn as you go. That, that's basically what this is about. You are just linking arms with people and you are not in front of them, but behind them, you are side by side, holding their hand and helping them through this. And likewise, you know, you are figuring this out too. And I think that's what is so encouraging about this is nobody feels really intimidated by anybody because we're all on a level playing field. Um, I know for me, like if I go into a gym, I would feel really like intimidated to ask somebody who, like is an expert versus somebody who isn't. Um, they're just, it's just more approachable, I guess you could say. Um, so don't think that you have to be an expert. People probably will trust you more because you're not an expert. <laughs> you don't intimidate them as much. Um, so the, the cool thing is the trainers do all the work for us. If you're, if you are here, you're obviously working out, you see what the trainers do and how helpful they are and they got us and lead us and tell us what to do. And we are just the, the cheerleaders for our challengers. Um, you don't have to be at your goal weight. Um, that's part, again, that's part of the journey. You know, people want to see that you can do this from no matter, from no matter what, where you are or what point you're at in your fitness journey. Um, that's what is encouraging. Nobody wants to see you at your perfect weight. They want to be with you in the struggle. Um, so don't think that you have to have like this perfect physique or um, be at your goal weight to do this. Um, so I don't have a large network. I touched on this in my, um, in my live video in the Facebook group yesterday. I think it was yesterday or was it the day before? <laughs> These days are running together. Um, one of those days. So, you know, we talked about how growing, I grew, um, when we grow your network, you are basically doing that by just sharing your journey. You're not going to get everybody on board with you and that's okay because not everybody is going to connect with you the people who are connecting with you are what we call like your tribe or the people in your niche so i connect with a lot of teachers because that's just who i surround myself with and um it's who i just connect with or new moms and so when you start sharing your journey and the struggles or the funny things that are happening in your life um then that's going to help grow your following around those same people. And then once you build those relationships, that makes the inviting to your challenge groups a little bit more natural. Um, and so don't think that, oh, I only have like a hundred followers. This really can't work for me. That is not true because first of all, you have a warm market, you have a family. If you go to church, you have church friends and church family. Um, who, who do your kids hang out with? You know, people around you. Though That's who you start with first. And then as we teach you how to grow your network through our trainings, you are, um, it'll start growing from there. And naturally every month, you're just going to have new people to, to add and to connect with. Um, so don't let that stop you. That's not a good excuse. <laughs> um, so I'm shy. I don't, I don't post a lot. I have um, several people that come to me and they're like, oh my gosh, I would love to do what you do, but I'm just not that active on social media. Um, I don't have a lot to say. I'm really shy and reserved. This is like the best gig for shy people. I tend to be very shy. Um, yeah, 
I, I just, when I get into a room full of people, I just like where I look for like the back corner, put me in that seat. Please don't call me out. I'm not raising my hand if I know the answer. Like that is my, that is my personality in a large room of people. Now you put me in, in a coffee shop with like two or three of my friends. I can talk your head off, but, um, this is really great for shy people. Um, cause I'm definitely an introvert at heart. It's scary at first to start posting, but once you start doing it and you get practice at it, um, it becomes more natural. And then you grow a little bit more in your confidence about sharing your story because you really get, um, you really start picking up people's um, positive vibes from it and they encourage you. And then it just feels good to just share your story. Um, you know, the Bible talks about that anyways, about how we're supposed to come together and lift each other up, share in our sins and in our struggles, you know, verbalize that. And so it is a natural way for us to heal in, in that kind of a process. And so when you do this through sharing through your, your social media, yeah, it takes some vulnerability, but there's a lot of healing towards it too. And a lot of um, maturity that happens with, with yourself. And, um, and then people just get really inspired by that. And then you grow in your faith as you help other people grow in their faith. And that's just really been the big thing that I've seen through this is how much it just helps with, um, with my faith and helping others with theirs. Um, so yeah, you might be a little shy, but it, this does take stepping out of your comfort zone, but in very good ways. The challenge that you're going to, um, to be given isn't to, um, to make you feel like you should run and hide or go to that, that back corner seat, but it's to help you see that you have a voice and that God gave you that voice and God is using coaching with a title called beach body <laughs> to help me, um, share the voice that he has given me. And I just, I don't want you to, to let shyness, um, get in the way of fulfilling the purpose that God has placed on your life. Um, so, and we will teach you seriously, we will teach you how to share your story. It's, you're going to look back at yourself and you're going to be like, Oh my God, I can't believe I posted that. Um, but it inspired somebody and you're going to grow. You're going to, you're going to get better at it. So don't let, don't let that stop you. You'll, you'll look back at yourself and laugh and be like, look how far I've come and be so proud of yourself. I have a, I had a picture post up from uh, like three years ago. It's when I first started um, coaching and mm, it was tragic. But you know what? People people showed the love and <laughs> look, look where we are today. Um, that's all that matters. It's progress, not perfection. Um, so, oh, this is another one. I don't want to be salesy. I could not sell, you know, no, wait, what is that saying? See, look at me. I don't even know. Um, something about like snowballs to Eskimos. Um, my husband could sell snowballs to Eskimos, but definitely not me. Um, I'm not good at that. I'm just like, okay, you don't want it. Great. Um, that's fine. <laughs> um, but it's fine. We don't, we don't, we're, we're not salesy. We literally just share what's working for us. Um, for example, this teacher friend of mine, she has the, the prettiest lipstick. It looks so natural. And I'm just like, what, what is that lipstick called? She told me, so guess what I wanted to go do? I wanted to go buy the lipstick all because she just said, Hey, this is what I'm doing. And that's basically what we do. So you, you start getting results or your confidence starts growing. So you're, you're raising your hand in the, in the, um, the meetings now. Right. And so you're speaking up because you feel confident in your voice. People are going to be like, what are you doing? And you're going to be like, I am a health and fitness coach now. And this is really like build my confidence. I've started to get healthy to get in shape. I've really learned how to meal prep and plan. And they're going to be like, I want to know how to do this. And it just becomes a natural way of just sharing what's working for you. We do this on the daily all the time and nobody thinks anything of it. So this shouldn't be any different. Um, so don't let that stop you. Um, we are going to, again, teach you how to share, not just sell, so to speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, 
So yeah, what will people think of me? Totally went over that in the, um, in the, um, in the beginning of how like that was my fear, um, of what people would think of me. And you just have to climb over that hurdle and it takes starting. It takes just saying, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to post it and I'm going to run away and hide and I'll check it later. Um, it just, I can't, I mean, you're just going to have to say it like it is. You're going to have to get over it. Um, and you're going to have to just breathe and trust that this whole process, if you're getting butterflies thinking about it, God wants you to do it. Um, that was me. I was like, okay, I want to do this, but I don't. And I felt really excited about it. And so I was just, you know what, I'm just going to do this. What was the worst could happen? So, um, people are going to think, things of you. They think things of you right now. Um, whether it's good, bad, you could be perfect example. You could be Jesus and they're going to think negative things about you. Obviously. I mean, look at Jesus. He was perfect. Everybody thought negative things, not everybody, but most everybody thought negative things about him. Um, but you know what? He had a purpose and he did the hard things. And so, you know, that's kind of how you, not that this is a good because <laughs> Jesus died on the cross for our sin and this isn't hang, you know, this isn't hold close to it, but the same concept as of, you know, people are going to talk about you, whether you are perfect or, um, not perfect. So you're just going to have to do what's in your heart to do and just forget about what everybody else thinks because, um, there are people who, who are going to follow you because they're inspired by you and the people who aren't, then go follow whoever else they want to follow to get inspired by. So, so somebody else is going to inspire them. Um, and if it's not you, we're not going to cry about it because you have your people. Um, I don't have time to do this. I am prime example that you can find time to do this. I do not have hardly any time. And that takes saying no to certain things and saying yes to certain things. And there's a Bible verse about this and that has stuck with me is, um, let your no be no and let your yes be yes. Can't tell you the exact verse. I just know that's what it says. Um, and so I had to focus on what do I need to say no to and what do I need, need to say yes to? Because if we're, we're trying to say yes to everything, then um, we can't be used like God wants to be used because we're going to be an empty, an empty base. And so um, I had to say no to certain things. Um, and that is maybe watching TV for two and a half hours or, um, you know, maybe I have to, to stay up an hour later to fit this in. I always wait until my son goes to bed. I do not, that is one rule I set for myself. I'm not gonna work when Owen is right here in the room with me because I get literally like four hours with him a day. And that's what bothers me. And that's why I'm here working this business is because I want more, more than four on my son on a daily basis. Um, or just to wait for the weekends to go have fun with him or just to wait for spring break to go have fun with him. Um, so I could, I put him down. He goes to bed between seven 30 and eight o'clock. When I put him down, I go into my little office right here and I work I, instead of going to watch TV. Um, and then, so you just have to, you have to be disciplined. You have to prioritize your time into, um, into the, the time that you have and work the business during the day. Um, if I'm on my lunch break, yeah, I will respond to messages, but you just have to figure out like how this is going to work in your schedule. Um, you can make time. We, there's no telling how much time we waste just social media scrolling. You can cut that out and then I promise you can make time for this. Um, it does take some, some working around. I know some people work like two jobs. But even if you have an hour to commit to this, and that doesn't have to be an hour of like together this an hour from like one to two, it can be like 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes in the afternoon. Um, just get specific on like what you're going to do in each of those increments of um, times and work it that way. And then eventually, um, it will work out. I promise if you stay consistent.
Um, so we will give you a business activity tracker that gives you the to-do list to do. So you're not like figuring like, what do I do with the 15 minutes that I have? Um, there is a tracker that you go by and you can check it off when you complete the task. So that's very helpful for, um, for me because I like a good to-do list. Um, and then the last one, people think I can't do this because I'm not that interesting. And yeah, you are. You were put here for a reason. God made you for a reason. And he thinks you're pretty interesting. So you, you are. And you need to be using that for his purpose. Um, I know that I've been convicted the last couple of years because, you know, we are here for a reason. And it's not to just go to work and come home. That's not what this life is about. I had one of my students come to me um, last week and he was just so distraught because he was like, is this all that life is where we just, we work hard, we study, we try to get A's and then we go to college and we realize that we don't even want to do this job that we're, we're going to college for. And then we have all these student loan debts and like for a 13 year old, he just showed like so much wisdom. He's like, and for what? He said, we get to the end of our life and for what? And I was like, you're totally right. <laughs> you know? And it is that, but then I, you know, got to, really kind of shared Jesus with him in that moment. And, um, and he was like, yeah, you know, I get all that. And I said, well, we, that's the main reason why we're here and we can't get distracted by all of the other stuff. Um, but we do. And, um, I feel like coaching allows me to fulfill that purpose. And so whatever coaching fulfills for you, just know that we're, life is short and I want to be able to say that I inspired, that I helped, that I, um, that I shared Jesus, that I did something other than just go to work and go home and feel like I just survived, um, throughout my whole life. Um, I feel like that's not living the life that God intended. And so, um, hopefully that made sense, but I'm done with explaining everything that I need to explain. It's getting hot in here with this, um, in this office because I have all these lights on me. <laughs> I think I'm sweating. <laughs> you did a really good job. I feel like I just sat through a sermon. Like, I feel like I wanted to say amen over and over. I love, <laughs> I love Jade. I feel like we've kind of grown up together. Uh, say, 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 oh, thanks. you're welcome. <laughs> Um, that was awesome. Seriously. Like I, I love me some Jade Whitehurst and I kind of like freaked out a little bit when she said my future babies, I was like, Oh, we need more babies in the house. They're too cute. But yes, you know, honestly, I pray for Jade all the time. Cause I know that's a goal of hers and she's working hard towards it, you know, and really, and truly, I think that that vision and that why is what keeps us focused and what keeps us showing up to serve people. Okay. So like, that's one thing I want to ask you, like, I'm about to move into money. I'm going to talk about some money, which is really important. Uh, but I want to ask you, like, what do you envision for your life in the next two years, three years, five years, even in the next six months, you know, if you could provide for your family in a certain way, like what would that look like for you? For me personally, I didn't have a lot of money growing up. Like we were, my mom raised four kids on a teacher's salary. My dad didn't really help at all. And so like that was like, we did not have a lot. So I've never expected a lot. Um, I was taught that education was the way to go. You had to get a college education, get a job with a 401k and you know, like health insurance and all that stuff. And that's great. That's wonderful. And that has really provided for our family. But coaching has taught me that honestly, I can create a life for my family that I never dreamed of. I can provide for my family in a way that nobody taught me about growing up and it can be fun and exciting and, and honestly just amazing. So, you know, if you could, what would you create for your future? Would you travel more? Would you put back more money? Would you like be able to go on date nights with your husband, give more to charities or ministries, you know, like the place that Matt works for now. When I started coaching originally, it's so, it gives me goosebumps. Like on one of my early vision boards, we wanted to give more to Oasis, which is our local pregnancy resource center. Little did I know that he would actually become the CEO there. And he was able to do that because 
coaching, the income that we were bringing in from coaching actually paid for the benefits that he lost at his other job. So he felt called to this ministry, but it was going to be a little bit more of a hardship on our family, but then it ended up not being because coaching made up the difference. So, you know, that was a God thing. Like that was something that we did not see coming, but God was already working it out when he called me this shy, like introverted, like oddest person ever to become a health and fitness coach. Okay. So one thing that is really important is that Beachbody does not guarantee an income to anybody. Um, the income that we earn is based on how much, not how much, but a reflection of the work and the ethic and what you put into it, right? I'm a huge advocate. Jade's a great example. You don't have to work more. You just have to work smarter and diligently and consistently to build this business, all right? So don't check out on me just because I said that, all right? There's a huge earning potential. I shared my income with you guys today. I even shared it publicly, which was scary, but I think it's important for you to see what's possible. All right. Um, I built my business in two hours a day for the first two years. After that, yes, I can, you know, I committed a little bit more Then I was able to go very part time at my teaching job. But I still I don't work all day and earn that income. I probably work four, maybe five hours a day, Monday through Friday. And I'm very committed to really slowing down Saturday and Sunday for my family. All right. And for worship. But how do you earn? You will earn. So when you start as a coach, you are at a coach level. And every time somebody buys a challenge pack from you or they buy like Energize, which is my go-go juice or something or beach bars or whatever, beach, a beach body has an incredible like catalog of products, you know, things that we definitely believe in. And you'll familiarize yourself with those when you become a coach. But as a coach, when somebody orders something from you, you earn 25% of what they purchase. Now, if they buy a challenge pack, which is the Beachbody on Demand and Shakeology and those bundles, you actually earn more. You earn more like 40% on that. So you earn commission on products. And if you sell, you set a goal. We all set a goal to help three people every month sign up with a challenge pack. If you do that every single month, you're earning at least $150 a month just from that. And then if they continue to order Shakeology or other products, then you continue to order, I mean, earn residual income. So that's part of your income. Now, as you start to grow a team, um, you'll, you'll start to enroll people as coaches underneath you to either grow a team or people who just want the 25% savings on products. Then you actually start to earn both bonuses in addition to commissions, all right? So that honestly long-term is where the income growth happens. You start to build a team and you teach people like we are, recruiting you guys to become coaches and we're going to teach you how to do these things and that ripple effect just grows and that that income starts to grow as well and the thing that I love about coaching I know that like network marketing gets a horrible rap but you guys I don't earn an income unless I help you succeed I don't earn an income unless I help my challengers get results, right? So it's not like a me, me, me business. I am not successful unless I make an impact in the lives of other women. And I love that about this job, all right? So every month, our goal is to help three new clients get started and you are earning. Um, we can't guarantee that you'll find those three people every single month. You'll definitely have to take the training that we give you and find those people for yourself, but we will definitely help you do that, all right? If you want to build an income, that is definitely your goal, and you will just learn to duplicate your, your success because honestly, like I can't. I can't help everybody every single month, but I can teach Jade how to help people. I can teach, you know, um, Shaylee how to help people. I can teach um, McKenna how to help people. And then we'll have this bigger ripple effect in faith and fitness and just serving people. Um, and you are going to recruit people who want to do what you're doing like we're doing now. All right. So. You're successful when your team is successful. This is not a pyramid scheme. If somebody tells you that, they don't know what they're talking about. Honestly, they're actually illegal. Um, so it's not a pyramid scheme because you can't actually like out earn, you can out earn the people that are above you. Like Jade could work harder and smarter than me and she could out earn me. She could surpass me any day of the week. So that alone makes it not a pyramid scheme. And we are here providing a service and getting compensated for that. 
there are also monthly incentives, you know, the fun stuff income is fun, but the other stuff that's fun about hitting those goals, like you earn uh, prizes for, for hitting your monthly goals, you know, the success club trip that we go on each year that is earned by helping those three people every single month. You can go to our annual conference, which is in New Orleans this summer in July for free um, by hitting those basic monthly goals as well. So there are a lot of incentives to act for actually doing your job. You know, I'm fulfilled every day because for showing up and being in my challenge groups and helping women and helping my team. But Beachbody definitely rewards us very well for the work that we do. So that's a lot of fun too. So how much does it cost to get started? Um, you definitely, if you don't already have it, you need the package that gives you access to Beachbody On Demand and you need your Shakeology or Performance Line. Um, so obviously Beachbody On Demand, that gives you access to all of the workouts that we do. Every single workout that we have access to, you get access to. You get meal planning resources, you get nutrition help, you get access to a cooking show. You also get a month's supply of Shakeology, which is a meal replacement. So your, your business investment is kind of food honestly, which is crazy. Um, so it's, it's food and access to the workouts. Um, and then you get access to your coach office. You can sign up. There's no sign up fee if you sign up with a challenge pack and you get access to your business office, to your business toolkits, to our challenge groups where you're going to be a challenger and work on yourself and also to our team resources. I'll talk about that in a minute. The cost of that challenge pack is $160. If you've already done that and you want to sign up with another challenge pack and try different products, we can help you do that as well. Um, but that's your business investment. You're not buying inventory. You're not shipping anything. There's nothing like that. Beachbody does all that for you. Uh, there's a monthly fee of $15.95 to be a coach. Um, and that's because they cover all of your, your coach office expenses. Now, if you're military or veteran or spouse of one, you actually get all that stuff waived. So you don't pay coaching fees, which is really cool, okay? And so there's that too. Um, and then the only other fee is your monthly Shakeology. And that's discounted at 25% off. Uh, you are, you save 25% on everything as a coach. So, you know, I spend the monthly investment into my business and Jade as well is like, I think it's 117 tax and shipping and all. And that's, 30 meals. Like I'm getting 30 meals every month for my business investment. So it comes out to like $3 a day, I think. Um, so that is it. As far as training, you get access to our new coach mentorship. That is a, that's a self-paced training through Facebook for our coaches. Um, honestly, it is the secret to our success. Everybody that I know that has been a successful coach went through that training. They took advantage of the daily posts, the assignments, um, the, the trainings that we have a weekly call on Wednesday nights at eight o'clock central standard time, where we go through things like how do you post on social media? How do you become a good steward of using social media? How do you not let it consume your life? How do you share and not sell? How do you invite people to a challenge group? How do you work through those conversations? How do you hit that goal of helping three people every single month join your boot camps? Um, you can do the trainings at your own pace. I definitely encourage you to finish the coach mentorship in the first month. And then when you complete it, we'll move on to the next goal. Or honestly, you can repeat it. I repeated my new coach mentorship like three times, three months, um, just because I wanted to have that solid foundation. There's also a team page for support. Um, we have a weekly team call on Monday nights. You know, like I definitely say make the Wednesday night new coach training call a priority if you have to choose one. But we have a weekly team call where we have trainings on new products or tips for, you know, just successful running of a business. You know, I know we have a couple of speakers lined up to talk about running a God honoring business and different things. So those are just ways that we support you. When you post your coach announcement and you're scared, you can go to our team page and ask questions or ask for support. I love our community. Like I love our community of women and we have a lot of working coaches, but we also have a lot of women who are just what we call discount or hobby coaches. People who just love the savings on their Shakeology or people who, who want to post, they want to inspire, but they're not doing it to earn like a 
replacement income. They just want to help people every now and then. All right. So those are kind of your options. You can sign up as a discount coach. If you love watching us, you love challenge groups, you love Shakeology, and you just want to save 25% on your Shakeology, your go-go juice, that's totally an option. And we welcome you. Um, if you want to be a hobby coach, which just means that you want to share your story, share your transformation. If somebody says they want to join up, you can sign them up under you, earn $50 on the challenge pack, and still be able to support them in our challenge groups, right? And then the last option is a business builder, like kind of a go all in. You want to change your life by changing other people's lives. You want to make an income because you're making an impact through social media and through your challenge groups, and you will start your fitness journey you're going to start learning how to use social media, start helping other people and earning an income. So that is what we do. That is how we earn. That is our mission that, you know, what sets us apart as, as women who want to follow Christ and honor him with our businesses. Um, we love what we do. Like I cannot, cannot stress that enough. And we are, like Jade said, looking for women who, who are go-getters, who are, who are not afraid to get a little bit outside or a lot outside their comfort zone. I'm outside my comfort zone every day. And I try to stay there, honestly. Um, but your next step is one, you can ask questions here. Um, you know, this, this video will be live um, in this group until we end the group. Um, and then you can ask questions if, if anybody wants to ask questions now for us. I look through the, through the comments. I don't see any new questions. Um, but you will just message the person who invited you here. We still have one more one more challenge tomorrow. Kimberly is going to post that tomorrow. Um, but message the person who invited you here. We have an application if you have not filled that out and we want to get you signed up in a challenge group if you're not in one already and in that new coach kickoff call next Wednesday night. All right. And plugged into our trainings and our team page. But no matter what, like we just want to say thank you for coming and listening to our stories because I know this is an hour of your day. This is a week of your time, you know, that you've chosen to come and hang out with us. And we don't take that lightly. We are very honored and humbled to do what we do and to serve you guys. So um, I am going to I don't know, Suzanne, you're the only one on live. I, if you, do you have any questions or do you just want to type them in the, in the chat underneath? Nope, no questions. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm